New England fish chowder began as a humble dinner made by sailors aboard local fishing vessels, where they'd throw a piece of the catch, usually caught or haddock, into a pot with some water, a little salt pork, and some rustic crackers, known as hardtack, that just help thicken things up. Now, over the years, the soup got embellished just a little bit with some potatoes and some dairy, and that's the version that Keith's gonna make for us today. Yeah, the problem is with chowders these days is that they've become too rich, so rich that you can't taste the fish. So mm -hmm. today we're gonna make a chowder that kind of goes back to the original, where we have nice, tender, moist fish and a really clean, fresh tasting broth. Mm, I like it. And that's where we're gonna start with our broth. So I have two tablespoons of butter that I have melting in this Dutch oven over medium heat. And then we're gonna add two onions that have been cut into half inch pieces, three quarters teaspoon of table salt, one and a half teaspoons of thyme in one single bay leaf. Okay, so the onions are in our pot and softening, and I'm gonna do one more piece of prep before we get to our fish. So I have a piece of salt pork here. I have a four ounce piece that I've rinsed to get the salt off the exterior. You don't want too, too much salt here. And I'm just gonna cut this rind off the top. We don't need that. And I'm just gonna cut it into two pieces. We'll get a nice kind of background flavor, mm -hmm. that funky pork flavor from the salt pork, but we won't get too much. It won't be too pervasive. So we're just gonna let those onions soften and then the salt pork can go in after those are softened. Okay. It's been three minutes and you can see that our onions don't have any color in there, which is important. And I can add our salt pork to that. And now I'm gonna add five cups of water. So I'm just gonna turn this up a little bit and we're gonna let that come up to a simmer in a couple minutes. Okay, the water has come up to a simmer and now it's time to make our fish stock. So I'm just gonna take the fish that we're using in the stew to make that fish stock. I have two pounds of boneless, skinless cod here mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna add our fish to flavor this liquid, but I'm actually gonna do this off the heat. Ah. Oh. I'm gonna cover it. So the fish is gonna sit in that water and steep the water, infuse it with flavor, and we get a nice clean fish flavor, but we don't wanna cook the fish too much, so we're gonna do it off heat. So we're gonna let this sit for five minutes. We are gonna work on our potatoes. I have one and a half pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes. I'm just gonna cut this into half inch slabs. We really like Yukon Gold potatoes for a couple reasons. We like the flavor, kind of a sweet flavor, but we also like the way that they hold up in the chowder. They'll soften a little bit, but they won't break down and become mushy. Okay, so that's our potatoes, and all we have to do is wait for that fish to continue steeping in there, and we can come back and we'll do a flip-flop. We'll take uh. the fish out, put the potatoes in. All right. Are you ready to take your cooking to the next level? Introducing the complete America's Test Kitchen TV show cookbook, featuring every recipe from every episode of America's Test Kitchen. That's thousands of recipes. That texture is unbelievable. Reviews. Gadgets you didn't know you needed. And tips. Yes, there's some terrible choices, but there are also some amazing choices. <laughs> We've spilled all of our secrets and included our insider notes alongside each recipe. Plus, there's a handy shopping guide so you know exactly what to grab when you're at the store. And of course, it makes an excellent gift. Get your copy today at americastestkitchen.com. It's been five minutes and hopefully our fish has infused that water with plenty of flavor. Oh, it smells good. It smells good. Yeah. Get a hint of that salt pork too. Yeah. It's very nice. So I'm just gonna take this out. Now the fish is not quite fully cooked at this point. We wanna try to get as much fish out of there as possible because we're gonna boil those potatoes for 20 minutes and we don't really wanna leave the fish in there because yeah. they'll become overcooked. Okay, so the fish is out, the salt pork we're gonna leave in there. We still want the, the flavor of the broth and now our potatoes can go in. Now you can cook the potatoes without overcooking the fish, and the potatoes will take on the flavor of the cod. Fish flavor. Aha! Brilliant. I'd love this technique. We'll turn this on. We're gonna bring this up to a simmer. We're gonna simmer those potatoes for about 20 minutes until they're nice and tender. It's been about 20 minutes and our potatoes should be nicely cooked right now. Check that with a fork. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Nice. So now for the dairy. We're gonna add two cups of milk here. We are gonna add one more thing to this. We're gonna have a tablespoon of cornstarch here. So I'm just gonna whisk a little milk in here to get that cornstarch dissolved. And then I have half teaspoon of black pepper to that. Mm. Have to have black pepper and chowder. I agree with that. So I'm just gonna stir this into our base. So we have the milk in there and we're just gonna return this to a simmer so that cornstarch activates and thickens the broth. 
Broth has come back up to a simmer and you can see it's thickened slightly. So now we're gonna reintroduce the fish to this. And I'm just gonna slide it in with all those nice flavorful juices. Mm. And again, we don't wanna overcook the fish here, so I'm gonna shut off the heat, cover the pot, and let that sit for five minutes. The fish just needs to cook through just slightly, so it will just warm up and it will be good to go in about right. five minutes. It's been five minutes and our fish should be fully cooked and warm through. So I'm just gonna take the salt pork out of here. Snacks. For later. <laughs> and there is the bay leaf. Okay. Just wanna taste this and make sure it's properly seasoned. Add a little bit more salt and of course some black pepper. Mm. Now we wanna stir this gently. We wanna break up that fish a little bit, but we don't wanna break it up so much that you just have these tiny shards of fish. Yep. So I just kind of use the spoon and you kind of break it up against the side of the pot. It's time to eat our chowder. All right. Make sure you get a nice big chunk ah. of fish in there and plenty of potatoes. Good looking out. Look at that, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Now, I have some chopped chives here. Can Ooh. I garnish a bowl? Yes, please, yeah. that's fancy. Chopped chives is nice. It adds a little bit of an allium flavor, but uh, crispy bacon is a good way to go mm. here. Maybe some oyster crackers. Oh, that's delicious. It has such a clean cod flavor. It doesn't taste like generic seafood. It tastes like cod. Yeah, and just tasting the broth by itself. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's delicious. Not too rich. You have a nice fish flavor. Yeah. It's really nicely balanced. Yeah. I love that. Mm. Keith, this is delicious. It is really good. Yeah, what a clever cooking method. Thank you. You're welcome. You want to make this updated version of a New England classic? Start by par-cooking the fish, thicken the soup with cornstarch, and finish cooking the fish off the heat. From America's Test Kitchen, a terrific recipe for New England fish chowder. I loved how you cooked the fish first. It's a wicked good chowder. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you're ready to take your cooking to the next level, head over to americastestkitchen.com and get a free all access trial membership. While you're there, you can sign up for our free email newsletters and download our app. With unlimited access to over 14,000 of our Test Kitchen recipes and 8,000 product reviews, you'll have everything you need to cook and learn. So I ask, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Let's make something great together.